Crikey's, looks like I have trouble. Fluffy Cat has decided to become a red back spider. She's feeling there's too much attention on Barbie, the pet red back spider, so now she dresses up to impress me. If I see the spiders start to dress like cats to impress me, well then, I really am in trouble. Anyway, Fluffy Cat loves being a red back spider cat. Okay, this is my Halloween spidery special. I have a couple of tasks to do here. Let me go through them with you. Number one, remove the empty spider XX from Spider Tank 3. That's XX 6 and 7. Number two, inject those spider XX for weight. I'll explain that when I do it. Number three, remove Barbie, the Redback Spider's XX 10 and 11. She's been very busy. And then replace it with the weighted XX. Number four, add XX 10 and 11 to Spider Tank 3. And if we get round to it, possibly some other funky stuff. Let's do it. The beep has been removed from this video and as always this video is highly educational beep 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 task number one remove two empty redback spider xx from a spider tank that's pack loaded with baby redback spiderlings how much fun will that be I have to come in and turn the time lapse camera off for a bit, pull that away, uh, also move this light away and uh, change a few things so we can see what's going on I've got some different lighting going on now and I'll get the spider tank forward and we'll have a bit of a peek inside before I start pulling things out. Spider tank 3 is evolving. This is the log of Barbie the Redback Spider. It's egg sacs and also what's going on in spider tank 3. It's starting to get fairly complicated. Now spider tank 3 in a sense kicked off properly on the 15th of October. That was the first egg sac that hatched. I think it was egg sac 6. Uh, our second one to the hatch, that's egg sac 7 on the 26th of October, and we're only really a couple of days past that. So now we're getting into an interesting phase where all we've got in here is red back spidlings. They are starting to eat each other, and maybe if I come in closer and just pick off a couple of shots for you, you can see what's going on. It's really just the beginning of what will be a very dramatic change in this red back spider tank 3. They're tricky things to video, they are extremely small, they were well behaved for the first week but they're starting to turn and one thing I know about these spiders is that they like light and what I found was they tended to well come to the side of the spider tank where the light was, I wasn't surprised about that at all. So the trick for me here is, is to get these empty egg sacs out without upsetting the hornet's nest. The spidlings tend to get aroused and then they want to do stuff and they'll come towards the light. So I've got to act a little bit fast here. Just double checking underneath here. There's no chemicals in Spider Tank 3. It's actually chemical free, which is nice. Being environmentally friendly. And I will just knock these spiders down here first. Okay, get them on their way. Down you go, boys and girls. The spidlings are sort of cute and small and fun to play with, but they're not like that when they grow up. Now I've got to get the egg sac, which is that one there, it's lighter, and also the one next to it. The one which is darker is yet to hatch. The first thing I'll do is I'll get rid of a lot of the web here. The spidlings spin up a lot of very, very fine spider web, and that's what they usually have an escape plan with. Being highly educational there, I'm just clearing away as many as I can. They're actually quite docile. It's actually a very cold day. I should say that as well. It's actually raining as well. Okay, we sort of had a relapse into winter weather and it looks like these egg sacs are all stuck together, which is not a good look. Hmm, I'll have to get maybe double tweezers in here without the camera. That bit of razzle dazzle has a few of them moving around, but they're still fairly docile, which is good news for me. That strange egg sac there is from a black house spider. I'm not sure whether it's worked out. It seems to be doing nothing, but I have freed up the two empty egg sacs. Hopefully there's no hitchhikers on these when I pulled them out of the tank. Nearly had a hitchhiker. Shake him off. And just like as I pulled them from Barbie's home, I'll put them in the back of that little truck. I'll just get that egg sac back into the center there. And that's task number one of today's spider escapades. The next task is to fill up these empty red back spider egg sacs with some filler. People were suggesting to me silicon, but I wanted to use something a bit less chemical in a sense. And I've decanted some of this stuff into that to help me get it into that there. I'm just opening up one side of the egg sac here. And I thought to myself, thank goodness I'm not using silicon. Imagine if the YouTube algorithm heard something like silicon injected egg sacs. 
I'd be in crisis mode and I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of this stuff in just to give it a bit of weight okay that should be enough yeah now I'm just going to seal this up now the theory behind this is Barbie will think this is a load of egg sac and she won't be as depressed once I take those other egg sacs away and put these loaded ones in which are actually blank egg sacs I should also put some text to mark on these so I know these are the blank ones and this is injecting the second one what did you do today down your garage I can hear my wife asking that and I'm saying well you wouldn't believe what I was up to today if I told you you'd think I'm crazy okay I've got my weighted and injected red back spot XX also got texture marks on them and the next thing to do is to swap these out with the a real red back spider XX that Barbie has produced. I'm out of Barbie the red back spider's home. I've actually brought along some treats for her. They'll be distractions, I hope, and also the loaded XX. It is raining and that always adds to the fun, doesn't it? I've got an umbrella above me because I've got a camera that doesn't quite like the rain. Okay, I can see the XX and Barbie's down there. And what I tend to do, checking everything as I move things, is I put this underneath there. Barbie's moved directly to the egg sacs to protect them. Crikey, she's getting big. Uh, she's nearly 11 months old. So um, she's a stunning spider, I tell you, and uh, I know her very well now. I better put a distraction in, I think, to uh, get away from the egg sacs. These beetles are all through the garden. That's very much what Barbie enjoys to eat. I'll grab that one there. And I'll just put it into the web oh, somewhere around there okay see what happens Ooh, okay the beetles making a move but so is barbie oh the box of the beetles just dropped out have to do it again i've got the beetle in there a second time and barbie immediately went for that beetle it got into some very webby areas and i'll just get barbie um occupied there before i come in and make my move Now one thing I know, it takes Barbie some time to take over one of these beetles. Luckily it didn't crawl towards the egg sacs because I know what they do to egg sacs, they rip them apart. And it, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for Barbie to arrest that beetle. It's got that goopy stuff. One of my viewers said beetles emit like a goopy stuff to try and stop the web, which I didn't know until someone tells me. But uh, yes, I think now's the time I've got to get the egg sacs out of Barbie's home. Mind you, we do like looking at the way Barbie plays. Okay, while Barbie is very, very busy there, I'm going to come down and I'm very quickly going to grab this egg sack right here, just making sure I don't pinch it too much, and pull it straight out. Okay, I've got it. That's the first one out. And I'm going to have to be very quick with this next one. I think Barbie understands what I'm up to. Very quick, straight down. Nip it on the side, very carefully. Ooh, Barbie, think, I think she knows. She's not going to like this. Okay, I've got the second one. And put it there. That's egg sac 10 and 11. Now to put in my fake field redback spider egg sacs. Yeah. With Barbie, very busy there. I've got to get an egg sac in here. This is a fake filled one, and I've just got to get it caught up on some web. Hopefully it's going to stick up there. Okay, one in. Just grabbing the second one. Woo! With Barbie still busy with that beetle, as I thought she would be, I'm going to put the second egg sac in. I'm just going to get it caught up on some web. Okay, it's in. Let's hope that can fool Barbie. And she's down there. I'm pretty sure she just gave a spider bite because I saw that reaction from the beetle. It's stunning to watch the way these spiders work. She's doing some more back leg action. It is quite a bit of work to subdue one of these beetles. They're powerful. They're built like tanks, beetles like that. And uh, it's the sort of thing that redback spiders will eat normally or naturally. Let's point that out. Wonderful to watch, uh, but we've seen it all before, haven't we? Now the million dollar question is, will Barbie accept those very dodgy refilled egg sacs that will do nothing for her? They're just going to sit there and uh, produce zip all. 
Yes, it's going to really uh, examine a redback spider's brain. Can it work out it's dealing with something totally fake? I'm hoping the bit of weight that's in those egg sacs is going to fool her. Because when the egg sacs are totally empty, they're, well, they're literally like feathers. They've got zero weight. And uh, I'm hoping it's going to trick her. So she's a happy spider without a real egg sacs being in there. Now I'm sure someone in the audience will have a prediction of what will go on here. I think it will work. I thought it was a good idea when I saw people talking about this. I will get her beautiful lid back onto her incredibly beautiful home. Let's not forget to take today's prize. I know you'll say, oh, what about the other beetle? Well, I'll safely release it under Barbie's home. There we go. I'd hate to injure it. Just before we go in, I made a discovery of web here that was dropping down from this area here down to the step. It's all washed away because of the rain. But what we have here is actually very nice. It's one of those cement spiders, grey house spiders. And I believe there's an egg sac there as well. I've got that little ball camera that's made for ballistic devices on some blue tack there. And if I manipulate it around a bit, yeah, I can see the beauty of the spider rooney. I think that's the egg sac there. I'm going to have to pull it out to see exactly what's going on. Although it could just be something a snail has left behind. It's like one of those unsolved mysteries. I don't want to take out the spider. I just want to drop out what was going on up there. That was a bit of a fruitless exercise. This is what's dropped down. It's like an old spider nest. Okay, I really wanted the a spider egg sack and I think it was something to do with a snail okay because snails live up under there as well dang it I really wanted one of those egg sacs okay we know what we need to do next I've got to put those red back spider egg sacs into the red back spider tank here I'll just drag this forward again and uh, take the lid off Woo! I'll just very carefully grab the first one Yo. And doing my best to delicate work, I'll just get it into the middle there, like so. This one as well, I've actually put pointy ends on these tweezies, and it makes them pick up things like that EV. And I'll come in and get it somewhere there, just get everything centralised, and of course it's going to stick a bit on me. Get it all nice and trim and the next egg sac which will hatch in here is that dark one that I'm pointing at right there. So that's egg sac 8. Number 9 was taken out by the beetle and that's either 10 or 11. I'm not exactly sure which is which but I do know they are the numbers of those egg sacs. I just play with the spidlings here and what I've noticed is sometimes they just ball up and they pretend they're not there. They're in a sense they're their way of saying I'm not here is I'm just a ball and other times they get a little bit cranky and I think to be a survivor in this spider tank it pays to be a little bit cranky. The redback spiders that are in there are from egg sac 6 and 7 they have a massive advantage over anybody else who turns up in here and I will just close the lid on this nice and gently and the study continues. Spider Tank 3 is a very different spider study versus Spider Tank 1 and 2. In this spider tank, if you don't eat, you're gonna die. In this spider tank, I do have a theory there's going to be a tipping point and the population will basically halve in very short time. And the spiders that progress through to become adult spiders, well in a sense, They've got the best spider sense, or you might say it like this, they are the most psychopathic spiders in the spider tank. Personally, I feel the spiders that play the aggressive game are going to have an advantage. I don't think it's the sort of place where you want to be a passive player. I'll finish with something outside. I noticed something spiderific the other day. I think I'll need those to explain it. It's such a contrast out here versus this time last year and that's when those big bushfires started off in Australia and went on for months. Now I moved the Tonka grader the other day and I didn't like what I saw going on underneath and because I've had lots of rain you can see there's lots of mud which is up on the wheels of that tractor and I did that study where I left this in a bit of the garden that was unkept for two years and what we worked out well it takes the spiders away there were no spiders developing on this 
Now I moved this the other day and I noticed some, well, web that I was a bit sketchy about going on underneath. I'm just going to see if that web is still there. Hmm, oh, that's a bit curious. I'm not seeing what I saw the other day. And what I saw the other day was the beginnings of a redback spider doing what redback spiders do. Now maybe a skink or a lizard has come along and grab that spider because that's the way it works in the backyard. Let me look at this end up here. Okay, I'm having a nice careful look there. I tell you what, it looks free of spider web. I'm a little bit surprised. It's toys like this are like magnets for critters like redback spiders. I'll just put that back there and there's another one to take a look at. This is the area where I did the two years of Let the Garden Go Crazy and one of the graders is here and I used this the other day in a Thomas Merch video to hold something down and when I moved it I noticed there was spider rooney activity. Whether or not it's still there is another thing. Let's take a look. I'm having a nice careful and very close look there. I tell you what, it's actually looking pretty clean. Now it wasn't like that the other day again because I moved this, I may have made the spider move on or a skink or lizard has come along and claimed the spider. Just to be sure, I'll lick it with a tiny bit of fire. Okay, dusted. And to play it double safe, I'll give that one a lick as well. Just a bit, you know, not too much. Well, at least the fire's cleaned the mud off the wheels. Now, I'm pretty sure that Tonka truck is totally spider free now. Okay, it's Halloween. Let's check up and see how Barbie's accepted those fake egg sacs. This is a couple of days after I did the egg sack swap and I'm keen to come in and do it on Halloween because I know people say Oh, it's on the Halloween video, this is shit on Halloween. And now having a peek down inside Barbie's home, crikeys, those fake egg sacks are still there. I came back here because I'm sure someone would have asked the question, what happened with the egg sacks? Uh, this is uh, two days after I put them in, I hope I got the dates right there. And I'm just seeing if Barbie's going to be protective of these. She has moved them. They are in a different spot. They've come up a bit and they're closer together than the area where I put them in. Let's just see what she does if I come in and just razzle them a bit. Mm. I'm, I'm surprised they're still there because if she knows something's a bit dodgy, she will just dump it out of the spider nest. I know that's what these spiders tend to do. She's actually staying down below the egg sacs there. I can't believe it. I think I've completely fooled her. Look at that. She's coming in and protecting these fake egg sacs. They're just filled with a filler. Now, that is astonishing. I really, I really thought she would have worked out what was going on. That is completely spiderific miraculous. So there you go, seeing is believing and I can't make spiders act. The spider has just done what they instinctively do when they feel their egg sacs are being threatened. They go up and they try to protect them. One more tease for the non-believers. Look at that. She's up next to those egg sacs as if they are the most precious thing in her life. Unbelievable. Well, that was a very different Halloween special. I'll tell you what, I was a tad skeptical whether that was going to work. Uh, I'm not skeptical now and hopefully we learn stuff along the way or else the YouTube systems get very, very cranky with me. And I think Halloween this year is going to be a fairly stormy one. It's not looking very nice. It's going to be very dodgy trick-or-treating tonight.